Well, good morning, everyone, and it is literally morning. Happy to be here with you today. Weather has kind of broken. Uh, has it ever been a September? I'll tell you. I didn't get too many YouTubes out, <laughs> at least less than I thought that I would. A whole lot happened, actually, this month. Um, we found a dog. We rescued a dog, actually. Almost got hit by a school bus. So anyway, he's living with us. No one came forward, uh, so I guess now we have a dog. Uh, that's one thing. I also went to a convention, a very artistic convention, convention a small print expo, and, uh, you know, pretty much I'm um, in the midst of uh, attempting to work on some of my graphics and everything like that. It was quite inspiring. So anyway, I like that. Also, planning out my next month. I'm planning out my next month, uh, but you know, I won't go into it too much. It depends on what I can do. With a 40 hour a week job, um, sometimes, uh, sometimes doing extra stuff just kind of uh, goes by the wayside, but you know, I'll do what I can. I didn't make my goals list uh, that prominent and everything, you know, a little bit at a time. Oh gosh, let's see, what else? Oh yes, and I got a new car, but unfortunately two weeks after having that new car, I hit a deer. I'm still thinking about this one. Not only the fear of uh, actually going out there and hitting another deer, but um, the way that it went down, um, I was driving home, and, uh, you know, pretty much the road that I drive home on, the road that I drive home on is uh, pretty much full of deer, but I have lived out here probably for about four years and never, ever, ever, ever in my life hit a deer but this one day i was driving home and this little deer just seemed to come out of nowhere just sort of pranced along the road next thing i know um i tried to stop but everything was too late i couldn't veer i couldn't stop anything else and then all of a sudden the deer just uh, pretty much impacted with my car impacted with my car tore off the bumper skidded over my windshield and then off to the other side somewhere and I drove to a place where it would be kind of safe to stop my car which I did there was a truck driver behind me I looked back actually um, to see if the deer to see if the deer was okay or anything else but no sign of her so I think she probably went off into um, into the woods on the other side of the road somehow I don't know how she just um, she just get her with my car so the truck driver comes out very nice fellow asks if I'm okay asks if the car's okay I'm waiting for him to ask if the deer is okay <laughs> but no that didn't happen um, anyway I guess truck drivers have cameras in their car just in case things happen to them so he recorded it and um anyway uh he was uh willing to he was willing to if the police officers when they came um to uh share it with them just in case i needed it for insurance purposes um which they said they didn't so anyway i'm out there talking to the truck driver he's making sure i'm okay the next thing i know the police just happened to come up i didn't have to call them or anything i guess they were kind of in the vicinity and they pretty much told me to pull over to a road that is so it would be safe because i really was in an unsafe place at that time so anyway i pulled over into the road that was safe or the beginning of the road that was safe and they um they pretty much took my information so they wrote a report on it and um 
that's pretty much it. Um, now, being a vegan and hitting a deer, I can tell you that, uh, yes, I was very confused in the head there for a while. I was okay. My car was obviously not okay. And that deer, wherever she was, uh, she was not okay. The truck driver, uh, pretty much, he took off uh, once the police came and, uh, you know, volunteered to give him the tape and everything like that but it was it was really um it was really uh at that point they said they didn't need it because the damage was there they had an eyewitness all this other stuff so they just wrote it up as an accident report just for insurance purposes so anyway, the police made sure I was okay. They knew my car wasn't okay. Made sure it was safe to drive. There were no fluids leaking or anything like that. But um, in all that time, um, the vegan side of me was like, oh my gosh, I harmed an animal. Oh my gosh. And I am still, I'm still going over that. I'm hoping that the deer kind of escaped into the woods and was okay. But everybody, um, everybody after that, um, the police, the truck driver, they were all making sure I was safe. Nobody went back to look for the deer, which, uh, <sighs> what do you do in a case like that? I mean, it... <sighs> what do you do in a case like that? Uh... They're hunted animals. They're all over the place. In certain states, they are pretty much on the road at all times. And you're always hitting, uh, you know, uh, so many people hit them. I've gone this long without hitting one. Boy, should I feel lucky. Um, but it just, uh, it, it just pretty much, that part of me, it tore me up. It tore me up badly. And I just hope she's okay. That's all. I hope she uh, got away. I hope she got away with uh, small injuries and was okay. Anyway, the police and the truck driver, they all made sure I was okay, but uh, not necessarily the deer. And why would they? I mean, it, uh, the way we feel about animals, the way we perceive animals as a nation... Uh, that kind of got to me a little bit, but I wasn't angry necessarily. I mean, it's just life. It's a part of life. And um, everybody, both of the policemen and the truck driver, were very, very good to check and see if I was okay, which, um, you know, pretty much that is the extent of their duty that's the extent of the truck driver's civic duty. That's the extent of the law enforcement's duty to, to make sure that the driver is okay and not necessarily the deer. Okay, so that's one thing. And then the next day, you know, I go to work and tell people about it. Everybody wants to know if I'm okay, car's okay, but doesn't ask about the deer I'm not going to fault anybody there. That kind of took me back. That took me back a long, long ways. I never wanted to hit a deer. I never wanted to cause an animal harm. And uh, here I am, the person that hit the deer. Well, I tried. You know, it's just like, um, uh, what do you do? I just hope she's okay. So. Anyway, that's anyway that's one of the big things that has happened to me in September, and um, I am I wish I could say I was happy to share it with you, but uh, it's not necessarily happiness, but it's something I got to say. Um, one of those circumstances, no solutions. There's no solutions at all to. Um, this sort of thing but there it is I hope the deer's okay I think I've said that a thousand times but uh, I hope the deer's okay and I think too um, if I were a non-vegan I would not be feeling 
pretty much the way that I am now. It might be a situation where, um, could be a situation where, uh, you know, I'd be feeling the same way. I'm okay. The car's a, the car's not okay, um, and that's that's life, and that's it. But being vegan, bringing that into the picture, it kind of weighs on me probably a little heavier than when I was actually a meat eater, because I really try. I really try to. Um, to help animals out. I really try. I do everything I can. Obviously, you can't do everything, but there it is, guys. My experience hitting a deer on the road. May it not happen again. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.